So you can see they have a control system for the air bearing. In a dust-free room in Oxfordshire, they're designing a garbage truck for the heavens. Six decades of the space race have left more than 9,000 tonnes of debris in orbit and the risk is growing of a catastrophic collision with critical satellites or even astronauts. Astroscale is one of two companies competing for a UK government-funded mission to grab two defunct spacecraft and drag them down into the atmosphere where they'll burn up. If we don't deal with this problem now, we're just going to have a bigger problem in future. So I think there's a realisation that as more and more satellites launch and there's more collisions and more debris, if we don't start clearing this up, we're going to have trouble. Space debris is a nightmare. There are more than one million pieces of space junk larger than a centimetre across, from rocket parts to tools dropped by astronauts. They're moving at 18,000 miles an hour, ten times the speed of a bullet. That's so fast that even a fleck of paint can chip the windows of the International Space Station, which has to swerve large pieces of junk every few months. And with at least 2,000 new satellites a year being launched, space is just getting more crowded and hazardous. But catching a tumbling satellite has never been done before. Astroscale is planning to use a robotic arm. Its competitor ClearSpace is going in with a bear hug in the hope that the target can't slip away. Ground control would be too slow to react, so the capture will be completely automated. These objects, some of them have been in space for, for tens of years. We, we don't really know what condition they're in. Maybe they're very brittle or maybe they have things hanging off them that we have to deal with. And even some of these satellites we think are dead, maybe, maybe they're not quite dead and will we'll object as soon as you start to try and push them around. There's growing pressure on countries and companies responsible for the junk to pay for the clean-up. That's an opportunity for a new industry and the UK Space Agency wants to give it lift-off. We've got a track record of success in developing satellites here and we've got a well-respected space industry. And so building on that, we're taking on more and more ambitious challenges. And obviously that creates jobs in the UK, which is exactly what we want to do. Britain builds more satellites than anywhere outside California, with a rocket soon to be launched from Europe's first spaceport in Cornwall and a leading role in the orbital cleanup. the UK is very much part of the new space race. Thomas Moore, Sky News.